So there's a common theme that I've been seeing, and I know you've seen it too, which is that whenever someone gets involved with Donald Trump, they end up broke. They end up losing all of their money and all of their dignity. And that is happening to two of Trump's closest allies in Congress, Marjorie Taylor Greene and Matt Gates, that they together and individually are seeing big hits to their fundraising, and that at least in Marjorie Taylor Greene's case, she is directly terrified by some of Donald Trump's positions, which could hurt her and the Republican Party in Georgia. So first with Matt Gates, he is losing money big time. Not only is his joint pack with Marjorie Taylor Greene not bringing in any cash despite the fact that they tried to make it like a MAGA adjacent thing, tried to tie themselves to Trump, but the Trumpers aren't giving money. Personally, he is running campaign debts right now, it notes. In his latest federal filing through July through September, the self-identified Florida man reported receiving slightly shy of $500,000 in donor receipts, far less than the $1.8 and $1.3 million he raised in the prior two quarters. That's a massive drop. But the numbers are even worse than they first appear. In addition to contributions falling by more than half in the previous two quarters this year, Gates's campaign spending spent far more than it took in, with the Gates campaign showing roughly $613,000 in operating expenses, meaning that Matt Gates right now is going broke. Politically, Matt Gates is losing all of his money, in addition to the fact that investigators are closing in, that his friends continue to rat against him at the FBI. All of this is going awfully for Gates, and Marjorie Taylor Greene, it's not going much better. Her campaign finances aren't quite as dire, but she was freaking out just a couple days ago about the reality that Donald Trump is trying to create because we remember that Donald Trump said that if you don't make the big lie the number one issue, my people aren't going to vote in 2022 and in 2024. And when Marjorie Taylor Greene heard this, it caused her to throw a conniption. She said, I recently conducted a poll on Georgia's elections and if my constituents felt their votes would count during a telephone town hall. Sadly, four percent say they won't even vote due to voter fraud. This is wrong. Legal votes by Republicans are just as important as stopping illegal ones. And so for both Taylor Greene and Gates, getting associated with Trump has punished them. Gates being associated with Trump brought all this attention on him, which is likely one of the reasons he's being investigated and he's not even getting the money. Like at first he was getting the money at least. Gates was one of the best fundraisers at the congressional level, he was building a really big war chest, which would be helpful if he ever had ambitions to run for offices like Senate or maybe even president someday. But that's all been dashed. And Marjorie Taylor Greene, who made herself like Queen MAGA, made herself the MAGA leader, had those special meetings one on one with Trump, really poising herself as like the next generation's Donald Trump, now she's freaking out because she knows voters in her state are losing faith in the process because of her and people like Donald Trump. And I think this is so richly delicious. It's positively gourmet because we've talked a lot about how Donald Trump has ruined the lives of Sidney Powell and Rudy Giuliani and so many of the people that have worked directly for him. But now we're getting a real sense that individual Congress people, people who are part of the genuine January 6th crew are having all of this come down on him, whether it's Gates with the FBI walls closing in and going broke, and whether it's Marjorie Taylor Greene and her fundraising suffering while she realizes that Donald Trump may be the reason Republicans lose in 2022 and in 2024, they are going broke and they are losing, and no one should feel bad for these people. If you get into bed with a dirty dog like Trump, you're gonna get fleas.